My new flat mate. Right. You went too adventurous last night, adventure Dan? No, mate. Good morning, folks. It's, uh, I don't know, almost four o'clock in the morning, I suppose, or just after. And, uh, that guy, him, me, here's my new flat mate, we live together. Mm. A couple of days in now. <laughs> Dan has got a new dog. Mm. Hey, come here with this. Mm. She's off to the hill. She hasn't actually been on a pig by herself, but uh, today might be the day because we're going pig hunting. Mm. So on that note, uh, if you like hunting, then uh, come with us. Good week, mate. Good week, we're going to get moving. Mm. If you don't like hunting, though, know, you know the rules. Don't watch. Right, we'll see you on the road. Mm. Mm. It's sparrow fat. It's pretty early, boy. Could have been in the summer there, yeah. Why can't we just have endless one? Oh yeah, that'd be great. I suppose I should put my seatbelt on. We're rolling now. This is Dan Dan Pigman. So we've got uh, two Dans this morning. What's, what dog's this one, Dan? This is a mouse. Oh yeah, mouse. See mouse in action on the video. Mate! Mm -hmm. Dead cheeky hill. Come here. It's a bit hard to get So we're just dividing up here. Dan's going to head up this uh, spur up here, which you probably can't see because it's still sparrow's part. And adventure, Dan and I, we're going to fuck off up the creek about another 2k. Hey, good luck, bud. See you later. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you catch a pig. Yeah, okay. It's pretty steep, eh, mate? Bloody steep, mate. Dan Dan the pig man, he's uh, in the gully next to us. It'll be about a kilometre away now. And I used to hunt there a lot when I was younger. It is steep country and it's hard country, but it holds peaks. So he'll probably catch something up there. I'm pretty hopeful from. It's not very often I used to go up that particular spot he's gone without bringing something home on my back. Meanwhile, the venture down to me, we've got probably another, another couple of cave walk to get to the actual hunt zone where I want to go. Dan's just having a nosy down the river and I'm sitting here in a cave. When I'm done in a night in town, mate, it's over the head with the club and drag a woman back to my cave. That's where heaven begins. Look at this country, people. It's bloody beautiful. Come on, Bob, catch your pig. Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Suck my toes more, right? I don't think so, sunshine. Come on. Just a little rub. You're fucking lucky. Have a little bit of good old old fashioned American spooning to warm up a little bit. Fuck off. Well, it's uh, almost 7 o'clock in the morning now. So I would have thought by now we'd hit something, but nothing.
Let's hang out there, Bob. Yeah? Good try, mate. No way, mate. Not a wee way to go yet. Too much going on here at the moment, eh? Got the wind coming down here. So the wind's on our ass here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this basin here and cross the creek, make our way up that steep sort of spur, and then back down the side there. Hopefully. We can pick up anything that's in there. I've been up here in the past, and well, it's been nine years ago since I've been up here, and it's really steep, gnarly country, but it does hold pigs. Well, that's the plan anyway, we'll see how we go. Not climbing. They're definitely tracking something. They're going fast, dude. 190. We could be on for a pig, eh? The Poe's down here, and Bob's actually back tracking on a separate track. Poe's staying on it, and she will stay on it. She's at 500 now. This way? Yep. Hey Poe. Poe's back in obviously. You alright mate? No prongs. Bit buggered. Good gill. That's yeah, a good gill. Well you've got to give it to the dogs, eh Dan? They gave it a good lash. They gave it a bloody good lash. Right up here. 460 as far as Poe went. And obviously got blown away. Bob's back in. Bob threw the talent at about 380. And uh, not necessarily a big pig either, sometimes it could be like a 40 or 50 pounder, but she was fair hoofing it on the old television. <laughs> That's the television. She was going like really straight up and bloody fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about back at the truck, looking at the GPS, Dan Dan the pig man's there, he had treed up on his unit a while back so we figured he probably uh, very early got a pig or he sat down on his ass with his dogs and I don't think Dan Dan will do that so hopefully uh, there's a pig on his truck because so I put him in a spot where you generally get one if you go high and well, I know that Dan Dan's a fit man so it'd be no problem to him, anyway not far to go, just about there. We're just heading up to the old hut that I uh, spent a lot of years hunting up here when I was a oh, single man and I wrote the first CD which is called Quarry Trade. Some Germans up here and some guests staying. It'll be interesting to see how it's changed and who's here today. This fella who started off this morning is actually did catch a pig. He's up the hill mate is it? Yes, it's uh, probably about 400 metres up. And we're going to take the quad bike most of the way, so we don't have to bike it all the way back. Happy days. Did you get any uh, action GoPro? Yeah. Sweet yeah. as. <laughs> okay, tell us about your channel, bud. Um, I've just started, and so I've got about uh, nine videos of the dogs, and uh, try and keep it to bales, and I try and keep it to uh, the boars, so um, mostly two dogs, and not a lot of editing, so not a lot to, to go on. But, um, but what's, what's happening with the dogs? I like the way he says, I try to get bailing. Because the last time I saw it, there wasn't much bloody bailing going on. But anyway, we'll enjoy that. We'll add this, that to the, this clip and his clip. Awesome. Thanks. Has got a name for this place? It's a chalet called Misspelt Shed. <laughs> a miss what? Misspelt Shed. Misspelt Shed. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a bit more than a, uh, a shed. <laughs> At the chalet with these uh, lovely German women. We always seem to be surrounded by a German women. We are. We're blessed. We are blessed. But we need more German women to come here and help. <laughs> you have to send more 
Facebook or uh, YouTube or however you communicate when you're backpacking to come here and help. The truth is, Everybody. the truth is that these guys are actually want to get away. They're slaves. Shh, shh, shh. She wants shh. to get the hell out of here. They're not slaves. She hasn't been to town for a whole week. <laughs> she's no, missing two months. She's missing dancing. Like they're stuck up here. There's no, there's no internet. You got any cell phone range? No. no. Are you honestly happy or do you want to get out? Tell me now without him knowing. Tell me. Nice for a few days. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you noticed the pause. There was a pause. I'm not sure. Uh, anyway. For Clay, because he's helped me out so much over the years and he's come up here, it's so much fun. This is a memento of me and the valley. So he's got an emergency LED light here and he's got a nice little knife to put in his pocket for all occasions that necessary and can attach a quick release to some device. A quick release? Show me how this works, mate. Oh, well, you know, push the button, maybe, and it's home. So if we need to stick a pig in a hurry, how does it work? How do you release that knife? Safety lock, safety lock, no button, no working, no working. Safety lock off and... That's yeah. a switchblade, brother. No, it's not. That's for killing people. No, it's not. <laughs> Most knives are, aren't they? <laughs> I don't know about this knife. I reckon it's a... Um, it's a weapon, but hey, listen, hey, thank it's you very, mass very, very much. Thank yeah, you. No, you're welcome. Cheers, appreciate <laughs> it. Well, interesting way to hold that, isn't it? Under the throat. Under the throat, yeah. <laughs> cool. Anyway, I'll have a go at getting this um, arm saw going. Want to get that going? And um, then we have one more vehicle mobile, and um, if not, I'll find out what was the fault and fix it. Sweet. <laughs> Boys had no jumper leads, so it's the old number eight Y. Got it going, though. What we gotta do to get it going? <laughs> yep, stick it on, mate. You reckon? Wrap your laughing gear around that, sunshine. <laughs> Very nice. Try it. Oh, okay. The boys think they've died and gone to heaven. Got a German frau giving them cold beers after a hunt and also hamburgers. So uh, we're talking about Dan Dan. I call you Dan Dan because there's one Dan. Talking about Dan Dan, Dan Dan the Pigman's muscles. <laughs> Don't look. My kids call me Dan Dan too. Okay, show us your golf ball first. Come on. Oh, mate. It's a strange little thing. Okay, now shows your double bicep. <laughs> double. Oh, fucking hell. That is a double, but it's got like a, a poached egg on top, top of a golf ball. Yeah. It's a yeah. bit like Mount Taranaki, isn't it? Do you do uh, like something to do that, like take drugs or something, or is it just real muscle that you can use? It's just hard work. Uh, no, I don't do anything for it. I don't uh, spend a lot of time by myself anyway. <laughs> so he says. Uh, I spend a lot of time that's, in the bush. That's you, mate, by yourself. You're a single man now. Yeah? That's right. Lucas. Okay. Tom and Lucas. Yeah, man. And you went up in your jandals to get his pig. Yeah, man. That was your footwear for going. Jandal country, brother. How was your feet? All right? Oh, it was all right, yeah. Would you like to go pig yeah, hunting? Sure, man. Yeah. The I did yeah, it. Definitely. This guy shot us all the street feet. <laughs> <laughs> did you now? Yeah. It was a bit, uh, a bit of a hike up there. 500 yeah. metres. Fucking yeah. good. Thanks for that experience, bro. Yeah, yeah, awesome, no worries. Yeah, pretty good. Very awesome, man. Enjoyed cool. it. Okay. Right, right we'll get that pig out, eh? Yeah. Yep. Well worth it though, eh guys? Yeah, mm. man. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck, I did that everywhere. Good experience. You guys are good. You're yeah, that bastard, not this bastard. Yeah, good this good bastard here yeah. is going to give these guys his pig, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. Because he catches so many. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were thrilled, and I think they'll enjoy eating it with beef that they put in. They went, yeah, way up, way up, like 500 metres up. Awesome. Yeah, it was really neat. So, this guy here, he's a butcher by trade. Right, hey, and he's going to be uh, processing. These guys know we're going to eat it. <laughs> the pressure's on. The pressure's on. I'm sweating. 
You had a good day? Mate, it's been a bloody good day. Has it? Yeah, it has. With some good bastards. Yeah. And good bastard S's. And some good bastard S's, yes. Yeah. So, uh, big shout out to, to Dan Dan the pig man, because we wouldn't uh, have a pig to go with the story. Well, he gave it away. He did give it away. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Which was cool. Bloody yeah. cool. Uh, be sure to check his channel out. If you want to just watch Catching Wars, he's the man. Um, nice to meet all you German ladies and men. And uh, that's about it, really, isn't it? It is, in a nutshell. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, another day on the hill. Yeah. Mm. So as per usual, you can't be good. Be careful. Be careful. See you later. Grab that camera. Pull off. Oh. <laughs>